live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Nick Strawn. And this is episode 57. Two lovers stationed at a remote base in the asteroid fields of Saturn are introduced upon a retentive technocrat from Earth. His charge of malevolent eight-foot robots. Yes. The robot's Mada, coming. Mada, Mada, <laughs> Mada, Mada, Mada. That's Mada. right. <laughs> I have to say, look, look, look. Mada, look, Mada, 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 Mada. <laughs> I swear to God, this film was... I Saturn 3. Saturn 3. 1980. It was so bad, it went all the way back around, <laughs> and you could see it watching the back of its own head through and around the universe. See, it I was, like this one. Oh, man. Well, I didn't say I didn't like it. In fact, it. I, I don't agree with bad. this rating here on IMTP. I well, think I just, it's higher than that. Oh, you think so? So this had Harvey Keitel... Kirk Douglas, when he was still kind of in shape. Kind of. And, and a beautiful Farrah Fawcett. Yes. She was young. Uh, oh, man. She was hot. So, uh, yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah Farrah Fawcett. Description of Saturn 3. Uh, Star Wars, Robocop, Frankenstein, it, Star it, Trek, Short oh, Circuit. Absolutely. Any of those. <laughs> Danger Will yeah. Robin- Robinson. Uh, and and um, me, 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 me. The robot from... <laughs> Maybe a little Flash bit of uh, Battlestar Galactica, like the, the old, the exactly. old ones in the seventies. Oh yeah, yeah, it was definitely. Um, and I thought this was underrated. Underrated. I would say really fact, by me. You really think so? <laughs> no, it's undiscovered by me, and I I'd never heard of this before. And I've seen a lot of movies like this because well, you know, I the, love movies the, with artificial intelligence that goes bad. Like, have you ever seen Hardware from uh, what year was that? Nineteen ninety six ish. I love that movie. You probably hate it. <laughs> but I love it. I don't even remember. It's no, like the scavenger it, puts together all these robotic parts that he finds, and this well, how is about like Dark post a lock, post a, a, a lock, dark, post a, dark. post apocalyptic. This world. Is co- this is closer to Dark Star. Yeah, yeah. But, but this dark robot goes and attacks halfway people. Halfway intelligent. See, I thought this was awesome, and I yeah. looked at it at a different point of view because I was it, looking at it as a movie from but 1980. It was so wonderfully bad. Like I used to like the Black it Hole. Was so bad. <laughs> Dude, I mean. <laughs> The only thing good about it was how bad it was. Here's what I, I mean, would say about it. You know, it look, was simple and it was timeless. It was no, a timeless story. I never get tired of right hearing there this story. Because what it was, it was simple ton. <laughs> <laughs> I never get tired of these simpleton. kind of stories. It was simple. It was it was a little dark, and I thought it was well done, except the, for the script could have been a little bit better. <laughs> the, the, the set And I thought Harvey Kite. You know Har- what? The, the, it looked like the set. Was like one. You thing. didn't like the set. Now here's the well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, because tell me, tell me if I'm not right about this. The set, I think, was originally just the black stuff with the, you know, the uh, uh, tubes and stuff. No, no, that's what I'm saying. The tubes, I think, were added in later because they looked helter skelter and they they were not well done compared to the earthen. Oh, uh, you know, it, I. I think that somebody came well, we didn't in and said, see the... well, you know, we really need some tubes. You know what we need? We, you know, this is science fiction. You know what? You, we, we need the tube thing. We, we, we need that tube. And and it, what it looked like is it, it looked like somebody had come in and done the world's worst dryer installation. <laughs> well, okay. Did you like their bedroom with the, the weird... Uh... Upholstery, I guess that's the best way to put it. What I thought was weird is they were they were on this base to make plants and food for for Earth, but you didn't see the plants until like the last three right. scenes of right, the movie. Right, <laughs> and and, it, and there were like eight of them, you know, <laughs> like all together, you know. This, but but, but I like the, the robot. How about the scene with the ship taking up with yeah. that big kind of sun thing, and oh man, that was oh. Battlestar Galactica. And actually, the helmets <laughs> reminded me of uh, stormtroopers from Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> right. now, now the Star Wars. Was, the, the helmet was Star Wars. I mean, I absolutely. Swear, on the long shot, yeah. On the long shot, they were totally Star Wars. I mean, absolutely. So that, again, simple yet timeless story. Dark story. I thought it was well done. I love the robot. Take a couple of blues. I man. like how they put them together. Okay, you know what? Wait a minute. The big Wait brain? How could you do it like that? 
<laughs> and why didn't so, he smash so, the brain? S- some some of the yeah, exactly. Some of, <laughs> some of these start. Hey, listen, you know what? Well, the, he was the a psychopath. Ro- the robot, the robot. You know, you hit it. And the head was the head was the size of a cricket ball. You could have just knocked it off in thirty. <laughs> boom! Oh, gee, I'm really sorry. I accidentally smashed her. But head. he was eight feet tall. <laughs> And poor, and, poor, and, and he poor Farrah like, Fawcett uh, picked her up and uh, couldn't. Somebody made her bleed. To, somebody needed to buy that woman some clothes. Did you not like the exchange with Harvey Keitel? And he was like saying, uh, "You need me. Blank that. You want me? Blank that. Don't remember you, that." Yeah, and then he was that. like, uh, <laughs> "We said you're losing control." And he's like, "No, you're not. Or I'm not losing control. You are." You did see. I thought this was a great I movie. Remember- she had really nice boobies. The one thing I was wondering, there's a scene where uh, where Kirk Douglas was bending over at some point. Oh. And I was like, she was sitting behind him, and I'm like, I know she's seeing <laughs> right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, how, about the, how about the scene where he gets he gets out and he runs out uh, and his robe is off, and he's, and, and, yeah. he's, and he's doing the angry thing, and you're like, oh, wow. You know, because <laughs> you got to remember, he was at a... I, I mean, he's 103 now, isn't he? Something like that. 101 yeah. something. And uh, back then, he was, um, yeah. you know, w- when the clothes were all the way down, he looked it. I mean, he, he kind of looked a little bit like just a slightly thinner version of Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, I mean, this is 1950s kind of sci-fi. It was like with the giant brain and the, the laboratory with the, the tubes and the different color okay. of the liquid. In, I like how they brought the, the thing to in life. In defense of my point of view. Like Frankenstein. Me, in, in defense of my <laughs> point of view, I want to run some of this sparkling dialogue. Um, Saturn Saturn 3 is where you insert the tube when you're giving somebody an enema. Um, <laughs> hey, take a couple of blues. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, the script wasn't great. And the, the funky... Sound effects, but the story. Oh, I like that. They used a bell. They used a phone when they were in the laboratory. It was like, (laughs) and they mixed it with like a 1970s phone ringing. Where was that coming from? See, I loved it. I I loved that. And okay, Kirk Douglas and Harvey Keitel were both good in this movie. And Farrah Fawcett did not need to be good. It was the note I put down. <laughs> yeah, no, that's 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 a, a absolutely. Oh, and I said maybe I, I like, it needs a better story. I like, I, I, oh, <laughs> right here. Maybe. Okay, okay. <laughs> better. Here, wait, I got one right time, here. I got one right here I for you. Love so this movie. The robot was called the Demigod Three Thousand. Demigod. It's the first of the Demigod series. Yes. Did you notice that? The Demigod 3000. See, I think it was a movie that oh was... Oh, my God. Maybe they took it too seriously at the time. Oh, but. yeah. And what was the I wonder how it was re- he pulls received. Out, he pulls out the tube and he says, it's pure brain <laughs> pure brain tissue. <laughs> and, and oh, the music in the background. Butter, butter, butter. butter, butter Literally, butter, butter. it was somebody... It was mutter. It was mutter. No, it was butter. I thought they were saying mutter, 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 mutter. <laughs> I like this movie. Wait, I, I disagree. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the globe that was a a beach ball that was from the producers. You know? Uh they oh, and to restart the robot, they fill him up with fluid. It, well, that was awesome. It was like Frankenstein. See, they were they were referencing all these different things that I enjoy, so maybe that's yeah, why I like it. Yeah, I I kind of enjoyed the space tweezers. That was you pretty didn't think that Harvey Keitel space was awesome tweezers, though. Tweezers, my ass. Don't you think he was awesome in his role though? It, it was a young Harvey Keitel the, doing oh, a creepy guy. But and we introduced a dog just to I'd kill like it. I'd like to have pleasure knew. with your body. Yeah. <laughs> it's time we get to bed, Captain. Yes, you have a great body. May I use it? I'm with the major. For his personal consumption only? Yes. That's penally unsocial on Earth, you know that? Well, it's not here. Enjoy your blues. And we knew when we first saw the dog, dog that he was the gone. dog, the yeah. dog was going to be dead. But it's like, but, yeah. But I like that way that they just ripped its head off. I don't you know, like your hospitality. Yeah. Ooh. You should share your body Shadow locked. Me. We're shadow locked. <laughs> we have no communication. You know what? When when the future comes and and your cell phone goes down, all you have to do is tell people it's shadow locked. Right. And it's um, I could I would have called you back, but I was shadow locked. No external contact while we're shadow locked. You know that. Of course. How long will it last? 
22 days. Mm-hmm. I need some rest. This was an amazing romp. <laughs> you know, and another thing is I kept thinking that Harvey Keitel was a robot. He was. No. Yeah. I, and we saw too much of Kurt Douglas. Okay, so one of the taglines, trapped between unnatural love and inhuman trapped desire. Trapped between two lovers, <laughs> nothing Isn't that left awesome? to do. Oh, here we go. Love and both of us is... What? Something hmm? is wrong on Saturn 3. Something is watching, waiting, and waiting on Saturn 3. <laughs> <laughs> So I thought this was awesome. You know what? One thing, I would give this a really high rating. Is, 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 is how off the directorial timing was on it. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, oh, God. We should talk about the set more because I thought you would like the set when I saw this movie. I was like, oh, he, he might appreciate all these blinky lights and stuff. <laughs> and then the, the tubes. Uh, actually, I kind of like the hallway. I like how the hallway looked, except for you're right about the tubes looking like, like let me just put it. You know, the, 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 but that's what I'm saying is is the... There was a concept there that was really cool, right? You know? Yeah. But, but then somebody came in and said, you know, it's looking too dark or it's looking too like this. Oh, it's just some run some run, red tubes, run, run some stuff. red tubes and some. But I did and, like the mass control little uh, area where they were watching the videos and stuff. Yeah, that that was pretty nice. I, I mean, it was nice. There was a lot of blinking lights, but um, yeah. <laughs> like hey, lights. listen, you know what? I'm distracted you by blinking what? lights. Blinking, I've done my share of blinking lights in my time. I like shiny things, too. Yeah, 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 you do. <laughs> so I would give this a quite a higher rating than you, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I'll bet, I'll bet. I, I thought it was great. Hide from the heat. How do you hide from a heat-seeking robot, See, I wasn't zoned in on Space the... steam, <laughs> but uh but uh but uh I, I So like, the stuff that... I'll, I'll what's like... weird about this is the stuff you don't like is the stuff I liked. Yeah, like... I know. I, I, <laughs> believe me, I saw that coming from a mile out. <laughs> Uh, same problem as Mantis is the robot is not water waterproof. Um, what was the cheesy explosion? The final explosion that kills the robot was incredibly cheesy. Um, well, I oh, like the line and where there was another one. There, there was, <coughs> there was a, a there, good. that in the big dramatic, uh, just before uh, Harvey Cocktail lied, <laughs> yeah, and he was down on the gr- crouched like this, yeah. The shadow of the of the sound man was right over him, and you kept you kept seeing like 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 it looked like because uh, it kept I didn't notice in that. and out and in and out and over him, and I, I was didn't like, see that. Wow, that's uh, hmm. oh oh, and did you like the ship at the end? The, the ship that saves them in, in the end that's taking her away. Hmm. You know where the the 1957 uh, uh, Mig <laughs> is hooked up to the spaceship itself. I think they should have ended it there. And that was a there. model. That was a model of a, yeah. fi- of a 1957 MiG that just. Was I think floating. it should have ended before they got rescued. That's the way I look at it. But so the they had like this kind of Spartacus feel to it a little bit. Maybe not Spartacus. Yeah. But it's like yeah. I like what Kirk Douglas says. Uh, yeah, no, it did. He Spr- needs to learn about self sacrifice, and then uh-huh. yeah. at the end, he wanted to kill Harvey Keitel, but he didn't. He spared him. And then, right. then he ended up dying anyway. Yeah. Well. So he was the self sacrificer. him. I know. Yeah. He can't be with Farrah Fawcett anymore. That's a tragedy. Did you she, know that uh, she was beautiful in that? Two though, scenes I mean. were removed because the executive producer thought they were uh, distasteful. Just a side note. Wow. How Hector <laughs> mutilated Benson's corpse <laughs> on a laboratory table, and the other was a dream sequence. Oh. I mean, how did they determine that something was tasteless in that? Did they? <laughs> Spin the Wheel of Fortune? I thought this was great. In fact, I watched it twice, and I oh, enjoyed God. it both times. <laughs> no, seriously. I did. Uh, if you like... I, I can, if you're into the ultimate... Che- you know what? If you're into cheesy <laughs> movies, which right? I am, uh, and if well, you like sci-fi, look, and you like okay. robots, and look you at, like all these movies... Look at movies, all the comments that I have yeah. on it. You know, I, I, I like Short Circuit. I can't have hated it too bad. <laughs> How'd you feel about Short Circuit? Because I, <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> and that's cheesy, too. Yeah, Mystery Science Theater 3000 would love... That film, and they probably have. Done I think it. this is too high quality for mystery science. Theater. Really, I do. Really, but the comments would be constant on it. I mean, <laughs> absolutely constant. <laughs> well, yeah, if you're talking about like dialogue, eh, whatever. I wasn't there for dialogue. No touch and contact. You mean don't touch? Correct. People agree with me. It's amazing. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe they don't agree. Harmless with me. space hokum. Hokum. Yeah, exactly. You don't take this movie seriously. Well, of course not. Horny yeah. robot named Hector. <laughs> So that was that, that's one thing I that's that, exactly what it was, you know. I like how he kind of took on their voices later too. That was kind of fun. 
I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, was, Hector. Yeah, I like he how he was, yeah. yeah. Nudity and violence in outer space. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of <laughs> nudity and not a lot of violence. So apparently people Mark- on IMDb t- agree with Kurt Thomas on this movie, and some agree with Mick. <laughs> so it's either <laughs> you really hate this one or you really like it. Looks like there's no in between. I don't yeah. see any fives. Yeah, well, they're all yeah, s- uh, eights or oh, threes. Really? Eights, so far, eights or three, eights or oh, threes? four. That's. <laughs> Let's see. I hated this movie. Oh, it's signed by Mick Strawn here. <laughs> <laughs> Singing in the space rain. See, that's a good way to put it. But Singing. I would. <laughs> if they only danced <laughs> and sang, that would have been amazing. So yes, I would recommend this to people who like uh, cheesy sci-fi movies. Yeah, there you go. But you have to look at it that way. You can't like, oh, I'm going to go in watching this like a serious movie. Well, no, nobody would. I, I want to see what it was like in 1980 when it came out. Did people poo-poo on this one or did they like it? I guess I never heard what of it, so they must this? not have liked it. What year it. was this? 1980. 1980, yeah. But remember, Star Wars had already you know, put out the first and second, hadn't, hadn't Let's they? see, I like movies from the 70s and early 80s era. They were kind of bad sci-fi. Like I like Black the Black Hole, the Disney movie. Yeah, but think of some of the great films that were out then. You had um, the one with the uh, the oh, you lo- had like the a- little robots. Uh, Logan, not Logan, Logan's, Logan's Run. Run. Yeah, uh, Logan's Run, right? Yeah, Logan's Run. And Close Run. Encounters with Third Kind yeah. was out there about uh, around that time. Seventies, yeah, I mean, late seventies. You had some some of the classics, and and all the way back in the fifties, you had some interesting ones. At least like you know. See, the- I think I like this because it kind of reminded me of a lot of fifties movies. No, it did. It it, it Plan did. Plan nine but... from outer space, <laughs> <laughs> which is a cult classic but, nowadays. But, but here's the anyway. thing that I'm trying to say: is this is is it had a TV feel to the acting. It didn't have a movie feel at all. And and I think that well, it had the Kirk Douglas acting, which was old movies. It was old movie style. Yeah, you know, you know none of it. None of it seemed to match. But I, I mean, and still part of the charm. What can I say? <laughs> So what would you, how many uh, robot brains would you give this one? Mm, um, <sighs> 2.3. What? Okay. Don't, wow. give, don't give me a what. I would give it, out of five, not, I'd give this. This is not high art where you're talking about I'd here. Give it you three, know that. But I'd give it three and a half because I'd forgive the bad script. <laughs> because it had a charm everywhere. Charm? Except for the ass, the, the Kirk Douglas ass. Yeah, that was certainly was not very charming. So I'd be generous. I, I I don't know um, why. Maybe I'm crazy, but this is a, this is good because we we, we usually agree. Yeah. On <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that we're going to have to agree to disagree on this one. <laughs> um. So this doesn't re- remind you of any stories? No, like, uh, it it doesn't. <laughs> not at all. You look like you're. <laughs> You're just done. Yeah, I am. I think I'm done. (laughs) Thank you for joining us on the Dream Warrior Review Podcast, live from the dungeon. If you want to reach out to us, we can be reached at Gmail at dreamwarriorreview at gmail.com, or you can reach out to us on Twitter or Facebook, of course. When they send someone out alone, they give them some of these to keep them from going static. Did you ever take one? Blue Dreamers? Did you? Years ago. Blue Dreamers? Mm Mm-hmm. Now? Why not? I don't feel anything. (laughs) You always want instantaneous satisfaction. Do you miss it? Maybe it's different now. Yeah, maybe it's worse. That pill's getting to you. No.
I think you ought to go to Earth. What? You said I'd hate it. Find out for yourself you hate it. I don't want to go. Yes, you do. What? I just want to have been. So have been. Blue Dreamers? Mm-hmm. Now? Why not? I don't feel anything. <laughs> you always want instantaneous satisfaction. Do you miss it? Maybe it's different now. Yeah, maybe it's worse. That pill's getting to you. No. I think you ought to go to Earth. What? You said I'd hate it. Find out for yourself you hate it. I don't want to go. Yes, you do. What? I just want to have been. So have been. And leave you? It's going to happen sooner or later. They're not choosy anymore. <laughs> oh, it's just a thing. You've never seen it before. My coming out dress. It's just the thing to wear to meet the president. She'll love it. 